So, we're here. It's another Cabela's meet. Do you think I'd leave you hanging after Pennsylvania? No. I have a few other ideas down the road, but I just gotta check something real quick, and... It looks like we're good. I kind of had a bit of an incidente on the highway. I think that's what the disclaimer kind of talked about. I kind of just had a scary moment. Uh, let's just say... This is a disclaimer real quick before we actually get into the uh, actual video. Um, I don't know how, when, where, or what, or how it happened, but, but, I might have almost gotten to an accident. And this is because everyone on the highway to Portland is a fucking asshole. And there's constantly a road work right now. So it fluctuates between 65, 55. Someone was just going 60 in front of me for when I was gauging. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get out in the lane and merge and go. I checked my mirrors and everything. I kid you not. I kid you not. Um, I checked on it last minute. And then there was this fucking out-of-state Honda. No, it was a Hyundai. A Hyundai. Scared shitless. Very scared shitless. I am going to put the good old plate up front though, cause I'm putting this thing in the corner of shame. I have not even cleaned this thing in like, I wanna say a half a week, which makes me very, a very sad. But hey, at least I'm here getting some content and we're gonna switch over to the front cam. It's getting really, ooh, hang on, hang on. What we got here, is that Suzuki 900? Ooh, hot diggity damn. All right, we starting good. We got what looks like a 240, couple of, ooh, couple of Subarus. Oh, is that the boy? Is that the mini truck boy? What's going on, fam? Oh man, it's looking pretty good so far, not gonna lie, dude. I saw this when I pulled in, I had to check it out. This thing's clean, dude. It was like pop-ups or no pop-ups. Dude, you gotta do pop-ups. It's a 240 with the pop-ups. Oh my, wow. Dude, this thing is nuts. What year is this? 89. 89? Yeah, 1989. I have to ask you both seatbelts retract every time. Oh yeah. You, I was gonna say, they must, because it would be in the yeah, way if there's, uh, whenever you start wow. the car, they go back. Dude, this thing is like wicked clean. Oh my god. I definitely love the retro interior. Ooh. It threw me off guard trying to check out this 240 because this nose. I'm always so used to the 240 nose being different, but I'm like warming up to these noses. This is sick. I definitely want to check out that Subaru real quick. We got this really cool Ford over there in the white walls. And then we got tucked in there the mini truck. But this, this has my attention real, real quick. So I thought this was a two door, but nah, this is a four door E36 with a big old wing in the back. Oh, dude, this is, oh, these are, I thought these were different rims. Oh, man. This is nice. Oh, oh. That's a way different steering wheel than my Bud's E36, I think. I'm going to have to look at inside of his. I haven't been in there forever. It's got a five-speed on it. Oh, this is nuts. And this wing, though, dude. Ooh. Nothing wrong with a couple of shotguns, but this wing is nuts. Yeah, dude. I've always had a soft spot for these four doors. I'm a two door guy all the way with the E36s, but something about these four doors that are like awesome. Oh, hey, check that out. Another Subaru, is it? Yeah, it's another Subaru. Nice. Double Subi. Uh, ooh. I'll have to check out that blue Ford. Or that Volvo. I did not realize there's a Volvo here. Oh man. I'm gonna hydrate up real quick and then I'm gonna go check out some awesome cars. I definitely wanna check out that Volvo real quick though. 
so we're getting underway at the meet. Everyone is showing up. I love that truck so much. It is a yacht. I do love this truck. I just looked this over real quick. Um, this is a Toyota TRD Pro Tacoma with a snorkel on it. Very, very big snorkel. And then this showed up next to it too. This is a S4. It's always good to see one of these bad boys around. Running on Rona. Uh, Rohanas? How do you pronounce them? Got a little stretch on them. Seamless black too. Got that right amount of tuck too. Sweet. Got a little Miata, little happy boy right there. Um, I want to get behind the Miata real quick because there is another set of vehicles I definitely want to check out. Uh, let's see. We got ourselves a Legacy and a Civic Si here. Oh hey, another Legacy just showed up too. This Si is honestly one of my favorite body styles of a Civic. Mostly because the European design is just so stellar. Wow, looks really nice too. FR, FR, uh, F1Rs, my bad. Interior looks extremely tight on this thing. SI, uh, the SR, ugh, God, SIR, we were just talking about SRs like a while ago. The SI is actually, wow. If I was good at using a stick, I kind of would want to have an SI for fun, not gonna lie. I love the double spoiler setup, the big wing, and then you got a little spoiler on the back. Um, okay, nothing else showed up. Then over here, we got double, oh, and it's my favorite legacy. Ooh. I'll take a quick minute, you wanna talk about it? So I wanna get a quick little look at this. 3.0R just pulled up, looking mighty fresh, mighty, mighty fresh. Got the automatic. Ooh, MR2. But back to this real quick. Ooh, I didn't realize it had pods in it. I always wanted a 3.0R. If it wasn't for anything back in the day, I probably would have started off with the 3.0R and then got the GTI, but you know, things can happen what, like that. What year is this? So, so this is like Legacy GT, right? So yeah, this, this is, is like the first year. Yeah, this is the GT Limited, so it's a five-speed manual with the leather and everything. Mm -hmm. Dang, what year is it? Uh, 05, 2005. Nice. And it has the 2.5 turbo in it, is it? Yeah, yeah, it has the, uh, the motor from the Hawkeye WRX. So Perf. Yeah. Yo. Uh, I don't really tell people. Just be careful now. Yeah, I just go by people. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Well, I was gonna say that, but then I was like, I feel like a dick. Damn. This is some really good leather. I wish my Subaru had leather like back to back in the day. These rims actually fit. I kind of want to see this tux a little bit more, a little bit slammed. So I'm trying to get his footage as quick as possible because everyone is showing up. Someone just popped on the highway. Check this out. Beautiful Mark 1 Rabbit GTI. Being a Volkswagen boy, this is like near to me. I have seemed to grown a really big attraction to Mark 1s, even though I, I still don't know yet about in the future maybe you get a Mark 3, but these are so cool. I mean, the thing you can fit like four people in one of these things is just like amazing. Got the manual on it. Even like the engine bay is beautiful. Let me get a quick shot of that. Phenomenal, dude. Wicked well done. Gotta have it trailered. But yeah, no, this place is legit blowing up right now. It's awesome. Um, doing a quick little shout. Let's see, we got this really nice looking E36 drop top that just showed up. Ah, oh, the 2JZ Tacoma has showed up as well. I want to look at this real quick. What is this running on? Running on Vors. This is very, very interesting. Toyota, I want to say Corolla. Now this, oh my stars and gods. It's been forever since I've seen this. I actually saw this at Vagfair, Maine this year. 
I'm pretty sure. Let me look at it. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure this is it. I love this car straight to death. Nothing is wrong with a nice little angry boy Miata. Actually, I want to take a picture of this just to get for a screenshot. That is definitely going to beat the thumbnail. I want this to beat the thumbnail. The little angry Miata. Oh, dude, it still looks sweet. I can't remember. I think he might have changed the rims. I love his interior. Another Miata! 300Z. Woo! Man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I've got to give the market a little love. That's a wicked wagon right there. And no way that that's here. Hang on real quick. I remember this one. I think we all remember this one from the after movie. And then I heard about this car. So I saw it in the Facebook group I'm in. And apparently, not only during the process on its way back home, it lost the fender flares, which makes me very, very sad. I think it got flooded. So now I am going to... Oh, hey, a BRZ. I'm going to probably go... F oh, yeah, no. Oh. You poor little car. God, I love this car so much. Literally, um, me and this one guy at the fairgrounds, uh, well, fairgrounds, the beach, were talking about this exact color. This color is nuts. It's not a stock color at all. We were thinking it is an MG Roadster color. Like, I wish I could get good lighting on it. You can see it a little bit here. It's got like a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green in it. It's just a killer-like color. Oh, man. I'm so happy to see this thing here. I'm glad to see it's still running, too. Speaking of running, what in the good God is that? Hey, yo, who'd this be? That is an interesting ride. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, this place is like popping, though. This is sick. You got the 370Z next to the 350Z. You got the GT350. And don't worry, I'm going to get that sweet Mitsubishi Eclipse in the back. Got a WRX. Got the wagon set up. Ooh, pardon me, my guys. But first, we got to stop at this quick little number. My guilty pleasure always being an E92 Coupe. The 330? Is it a 330? I think it's a 330 or a 323. Let me give a quick little peek in the back. 328XI, ooh, okay. Uh, automatic? Yes, sir. Honestly, I was looking at one back in the day that was like sparkling blue, all wood grain interior, and it was so nice, except the guy wanted like 14 grand for it, and that made me sad. I was like, my wallet cannot take that much. When did this get in here? Ah, I know this little number. Whoa. Hello. Slammed Chevy? I love the rims. Love that too. Oh, yo, that's crazy. Six speed shifter console, custom JVC. What? Is that a, is, is that an oxygen tank? Like a full blown oxygen? No way. This, this is sick. This is sick. Oh, this is awesome. Um, ooh. I wanna get a quick little peek at this before I go take a breather and look around some other stuff. 
That's wicked cool too. Don't do it. I like M5s, but don't do it. Don't rev out of here. So this is the 5.7 liter vet. Another Mustang boy showing up. I like the little subwoofer in the back. Got the little window on the top there. Oh, and it's a six speed as well. With the go fast fun button as well. Who could go wrong? Can that guy with the M5 really stop? Um, I want to go check out that 300, uh, that 300 as soon as I can. But also, real quick, we gotta give the Saab a little love because I love seeing this Saab. Yeah, they screwed up. This is an old school Saab. I want to say it's from 1955, maybe. Could be wrong. Inline four, carbureted, beautiful, wonderful red interior. But now we're at the real number, too. Mm, it's running my favorite N key rims. <sighs> NT03. This is my drop dead favorite rim that N key has ever put out. It's got the beautiful red. This interior, all original, just an aftermarket radio, six speed I believe this came with. It's running on some Toyos. Got the T-tops of course, nothing wrong with that. Ooh, got some Canon by C's. Ooh. Sweet. Hey, there's a little Miata. Integra, ooh, charger, interesting. I don't know what the four means. I don't think it's a four year anniversary. Oh, this place is really popping. I definitely am gonna walk around a little bit more. So I had to come over and check it out. We got a beautiful VW Cabriolet, I believe. Let's talk. Yes, yes it is. Oh, it's got a cane in it. Okay. I love the green on it. It's got stock rims. Wonderful interior, got the khaki on it. Got the five speed, of course. Gotta, gotta, gotta. <sighs> Volkswagen. I'm trying not to make it all about Volkswagen, but there's so many good Volkswagens that showed up tonight. I mean, you could look at this whole setup and say, ah, oh, gee, I wonder where, where the uh, the guy that has Golf Boy in his name is gonna go. Instantly check out the Cabriolet. Oh, also, the Mark II moved over here, too. Um, There was, oh yeah, so I wanna check this out real quick. This is a Mitsubishi Eclipse, which, by the way, favorite car from Need for Speed Underground 1. Awesome convertible, has the switch right there, five speed even. I don't know if it has any mods on it, but I'm liking these rims. I don't know what the caps are, but they don't have any names on it. That's sweet. Favorite front end. I do not like the 2006 front ends. Um, over there we got a 370Z. I was going to check that out real quick, but I walked past it because instantly I saw this and I was like, all right, how am I going to do a build-up shot? So I just walked over and I was like, oh, hey, VW Cabriolet. Ooh, what showed up over there? Ooh, SC300. Hey, yo, wait, is that GTI? Don't hate the man. Hate the man who likes GTIs. We got a clean... Oh, wait. Did she just have a car bra on it by that? Uh, GTI, Mark VI, slow GTI. Gotta love the Vandy plate community. Uh, five speed, I'm guessing it now. Uh, yeah. Yep, five speed. It's got the stock rims on it. I wanna say definitely an exhaust. Slow gang. 
I don't know what it is. Why is the wing more actually like fucking better on this than a Mark 7? Because like if I there was like another Mark 7 here, I would just say like, you know, it's got a little dip. Let's go from there. Nice Hawkeye rolling up though. Killer Hawkeye rolling up. Ooh, S2000 as well. Ooh. So before I get to the S300, I saw this. And I was like, wait a minute, I remember what this is. This is a Honda. And I can't remember, this might be from... I want to say the 70s. It's an MB5. And this is just radical. Wicked Radical, it's got the good old Ankle Breaker 9000 right there. Just give it a good old pull down, just yeah, goes right in the ankle. Uh, let's see. I did also notice this. It has a side deflector. Kind of odd, but I like. I dig. Uh, let's see. Dodge Charger is pulled in over there. Love that. That's, mmm. That's actually a nice looking Mustang. 370Z, I'm just joking. That is what we call the G37 four door. Um, I kinda wanna check this out real quick. So over here, we have another little favorite of mine. Lexus SC300, running on some nice end keys that fits it well. Slotted brakes. These always came in it. It's another, it's another Miata. It's, it's, it's confirmed, it's Miata night. Wow. You know, I never saw that before. That is well fit in. These always came um, automatic, I believe. Really awesome and like, wow. I'm kind of blown away. Miata. And the GTI is taking off. Oh man. Uh, I want to say it's sort of a stock exhaust, but it fits. Volvo Gang Rise. Ooh, ooh, it's turbo. Look at nice. I don't know. I kind of want to take a quick breather before I do some more footage. Walk around a little bit more. Actually, be you know social. Before we do that. I want to check out this Hawkeye STI. This is just insane to see. I've always had like a huge liking of the Hawkeyes. It's got a little roof spoiler on the back. Got the big wing, of course. Six speed with the blue STI seats. Oh boy. Now this is sweet. This is wicked sweet. So I kid you not, what is behind that beautiful 5.0? Is that a Miata? I'm telling you, it is the night of the Miata. There is a Miata there, there is a Miata there, and I'm pretty sure another Miata went down this way. Dude, this is sweet. I haven't been down this area, so I'm just gonna give it a check. Ooh, okay. I like this BRZ, I'm checking this out real quick interesting mod for the 2023's Oculus Beat Stars. Okay, <laughs> you won me over with that. Single cannon. Got a sticker bomb back on this Miata. What? Is... What? Okay. <laughs> I like that. I like it a lot. Wicked nice GMC right now. But right next to it's a wicked nice Chevy. I love the stance on that Chevy. Ooh, another center cap delete. That's interesting on this WRX. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to like think of how to compare this because I don't know if this is an STI and this is also, a, this is definitely an STI. I don't know if this is an actual STI. It'd be weird if the guy debadged the back. But just saying, if these are both STIs, it's a double win for me. Oh no, they did a double delete. <laughs> still, I like it. I like it still. Double WRX. Um, we got the Nardo. Please tell me that's... Okay, it's just, a, it's just a bike. I thought it was another Miata. 
I think most of the Miatas have migrated back here. I want to get a check of that. And also this kick-ass Chevy, dude. Whew. Depot dish. Got the Allison transmission, this Duramax. Nice. F250 Harley-Davidson? Ooh. I like the track Miata vibes. Wash me, I'm sorry, I cannot. It is past my time to actually wash things. Yo, it's got that five speed in it. With gauge cluster? Damn. Now that is a Miata mod I've never seen before. Got a kick-ass 392 charger right there. Got a GTI, of course. Ooh, S6, okay. Hey, yo, hold up, hold up. S6? This has to be like a 2017. It's got the V8 turbo on it. Damn, dude, this thing's glass clean. Oh, hey, Alexis F Sport. Yes, sir. Got a V6 turbo over here, good old S4. And now this. Oh, I definitely know what this one is. Got the Rohans on it. Rohanas, my bad. I don't know why I keep saying Rohan. Yeah, hate them. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Hello. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yo. These things hit tough, dude. This used to be wrapped in a purple. I met the owner at Vag Fair. Wicked awesome guy, dude. This used to be wrapped in a purple, dude. This is tough with the black, and it's clean as all hell. Damn. By the by, funny enough, this is not GTI. This is a straight-up golf, and it slaps. I hate saying talky terms, but, dude, this thing is so dope. Heard this thing take off a couple of times back in the day when I was over at the beach. Yeah, see, this is the exact purple it was too. The exact same purple. Dude, this thing's awesome to see again. It's wicked tough. Love the setup though. You got the S6, the S4, the S4, and then just the Golf. Ooh, and a slammed one over there too. Gotta give the Supra some lovin'. GR Supra, my bad. GR Supra. What? Yeah! So I just talked to the owner, and let's read this real quick. This is a 2011 Honda ZRZ. 150 miles per hour. 125 bhp. But it's got 42 miles per gallon. That's so, that's so friendly. Oh, don't forget this part right here. The, the, the one-touch yeah. purge, and I just... <laughs> oh, dude, this thing is so sick. And I mean, you look at the sticker setup, too. It's got a whole bunch of cyberpunk. Street legal-ish. Can't go wrong with the awesome... Oh, yeah. So, you also point out real quick, Nitro ZRZ. This is the one thing that also grabbed my... Oh, wait, hang on. Built, not bought. Can't get wrong with that, too. And there's the cyberpunk keyboard too. I was looking at it, I was like, is that a cyberpunk themed keyboard? No, he loves it. <laughs> it's got the afterlife on it too, and I love it so damn much. Also, we're gonna do a little comparison real quick. This is a spoon logo. It's a different one. Spork Spoots. And then we're gonna go check out one over here that is uh Spoon Sports. Spoon Sports, you know, they're the exact same thing. Exact same thing. The interior on this is so, we were just talking about, it's driver oriented and it's just so comfy and cozy, dude. I mean, just look at that. Just complete comfy at home. You just have like a couple of shifts and it's just so, it's awesome. Also, you got an eco button if you want to go eco in this little number, but I would never go eco in this if I drove this. This is like awesome. <laughs> Uh, this also showed up too. I want to get a look at this because I knew, I think in my left, that there was a guy that I saw who had an exact build almost like this in a way. 
that showed up. Uh, what was the plate? It was 10 something. He was from the Sako me. It was awesome. Also an automatic. And that is a wing. It's funny because uh, my, my, my friend's uh, little sister just picked up one of these. And this has given me some very deviant thoughts because she wanted to get into an S4, but she went with a Honda. And I'm going to tell her straight now. So you want to join the Cool Kids Club? Um, let me show you some inspiration. Big wing, wing, and it's just coilovers, and I love it. Full in love. Oh, yeah. So over here, we have to do what a cool GTI build looks like versus mine. This is this is clean are these advents avid ones okay avid ones love the tint the wing oh my look at this look at this this is awesome like look at it it's like underneath it and just oh that's a nice diffuser. Definitely bigger tips. Definitely bigger tips. And apparently I didn't realize there is a, a like a thing going on here. I'm gonna get a quick little peek. Hey, oh Derek, we got some tire changing going over here. It's crazy. Ooh. Enkis from BBS. And then we got some nerd over here in his ZR, blazer, whatever. Going from BBS to an Anki. Oh, boo. Look at that blazer go. It's one of the fun things of being here. You gotta shame people. Sorry, we're just doing a quick bit about insulting someone. But first, LS430 with the clear lenses. Love the wicked pipes in the back. Love the rims. <laughs> oh man. Sports suspension. It's just tight. So we're going to do a further inspection real quick. I'm not a huge, huge fan. Whoa, 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 censor. Easy, easy. Did someone just swear on the YouTube, my guy? Someone swear on the YouTube? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, you do. We got the whole set of the pork wrench, Jack, and the gun. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of So, we got some BBSs here going to a nice end key. And not gonna lie, it looks really good. Those are tough. Those will fit good. Those will fit damn good. Yeah, 17 by 9 plus 45. They don't fit, but it's my 15. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna go back to the Miata real quick. So there's another thing I noticed. Everyone's got their own Miata build. Ooh, sorry, my guy. You're good. So this Miata, I know something different about the wheels. They have a Z on it. Let's take a closer look on the Z logo. Z Racing. I've only seen these around a few bits. And they're interesting, because I want to say a lot. Oh yeah, they're off of like a 350Z or something, but they're way too small. Another automatic Miata though, but, 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 but. Pop up headlights. When did he show up? Oh, I have not seen this car in forever. So, this is my first time ever seeing this car. It was at Cars and Coffee, and I saw this thing roll up. And it's just phenomenal. The artwork, the rim color on it. It's like almost like a shade. And like the window tint. The window tint just matches the car and everything. It's insane. I can't remember if it had the black hood or not. But honestly, this is like awesome, like custom, done by himself paint, dude. Oh, wait, hang on. One of my favorite stickers Be patient, I'm lowered. Okay, this this car won me over even more. Honda del Sol, if no one knows what this is, this is definitely a Honda del Sol. And it's just so awesome to see this thing again, dude. 
Oh, also, it's got like a little front exhaust, a little, uh, little dump right there. God, I love it. Love this car. We're really going to wrap up on shooting soon. I'm getting a wee bit tired, and also I kind of want to socialize and ask people, damn, how does that build work? But I want to talk about this, and if you see this guy's Instagram, please go follow him. This is a dope... Oh, it is an LS400. Okay, I thought it was a 430. This is a dope car. I saw this during the Shoreline Showdown. This is nuts. The interior is so plush. It's got the awesome shifter knob on it. Shifter knob, shifter handle. It's full blown samurai handle, my guy. The katana handle, dude. He would usually have like a huge glass set up in the back. It's just so beautiful. So clean. And then this, the tuck. Can we look at this real quick? Look how tuck this is. It's just damn nice of a tuck. Ooh, what's going back? When did that get here? Wait, hold on. SRT4? Well, damn. But yeah. Also, the tips on this are nice too. I'm not a huge fan of these tips. I always like the perfect, just, you know, just stainless steel looking tips. But this, it fits the vibe well. I feel like I've seen this around before. Um. This might have been at the Sako meet. If you've seen the Sako video, I might have went over an A3, but if not, A3. I saw this on the way to get a drink by my car. Well, not by my car, but this is like on a whole level cool. So right off the bat, I just want to focus on the rear end of this because this gives me like the nostalgia vibes. Check that out original WRX logo on the back and it's a two-door I love seeing these Subarus I mean can we get a look at a look check that out you don't see these every day it's got the original stock rims on it things that have been done to it I do not know it looks like he has a blow off valve on it right now looks like a few other things done maybe a modernized intercooler right here but this is just a really, really cool Subaru. I mean, just look at it too. It's just got that 90s rally car vibe, just even like standing alone with those rims, everything, the silver, just honestly fits. It's awesome. So we're keeping on the theme of Night of the Miatas. Check this out. A couple of 90s first gen Miatas. Got a green official hard top. These hard tops, are incredibly hard to find and I'm not even joking finding an original hardtop that's made by Mazda anything is like incredibly like high priced this is a five speed as well love the is that a e-brake yeah that's, that's an e-brake check out this black one over here this black one over here has the exact same rims as the other one but it's got that original logo. I love these logos a lot involving these Mazdas. Uh, oh, hey, it is another, it's another five speed. These things honestly would just be so much fun to own. Like honestly, not gonna like dead ass lie. If I had to choose between a hard top and a soft top Miata, I think if I was learning stick, I'd take a soft top, but if I had a daily and like build up a straight ass Miata, I would probably do a hard top, do like a big wing and like slam a supercharger in it. And I know it'd probably pump out like 250, but still, come on. Seeing you have a supercharged Miata, who does not want to say that? This little number caught my eye just before I was gonna say, all right, I'm done doing actual shooting. Let's do the uh, finish up. This is a, I'm assuming, 350 Chevy. Yes, sir. Oh. Has to be a 67, 68, or 69 C10. It's got those beautiful wolf, ooh, baby. Like houndstooth. This is what's called houndstooth. I love houndstooth. Awesome center console. Man, this thing is just neat in general 
these GT wheels, a lot of people don't like them. I love them. They can, oh wait, it's got a name. Black Beauty, it is a Black Beauty. Check out the bed on this. Wow, dude. This is one tough truck. Man, this is one tough little Chevy. Got the American Racings on there. Drums even. Hold on, drums? Does this mean it's on all drums? Drums and a disc front conversion. Hello. This is incredible. That's... I don't know if that's refurbished, stock, but big bravo. This is like an awesome... Wait, hang on. Is this... Sand Incorporation Ozone Friendly. That's an AC. I was wondering what that was. This has AC. Holy crap, this has AC. Okay, I know I'm freaking out because it has AC, but this is like an awesome truck to have AC on. All these like old square bodies are like a big plus if you have a um, AC unit inside of them. And there you have it. I almost ran out of footage on my phone, but we did it. We went to the biggest, I want to say the biggest Cabela's meet so far. There wasn't a Diablo or anything special, but dude, night of the Miata in this parking lot. I want to say I'll have to go through my footage and put up a Miata counter. There was, uh, ignore, ignore the I have not cleaned the back of my car due to work in uh, Pennsylvania, thanks. It was awesome and I honestly enjoy these meets a lot. I cannot wait till um, the next few sets come up because then I'm going to have like the biggest ball. I think I'm going to try hand washing this myself, not taking it through the I do it myself car wash as most people know. But it's awesome that I, yeah, no, so I kind of got a haircut, ignore that. <laughs> but I cannot wait till the next Cabela's meet. Um, I do have an update on something though. We are planning on some point doing Japanese mini truck meet interview, but, but, found my eyes. There was supposed to be an appearance by the white R33 GTR. He did not show tonight, sadly. Next meet, if he shows up, I am definitely going like over that car. I, I love R33 so friggin' much, dude. But anyways, this has been the Cabela's Meet, Night of the Miata, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope it was worth the wait, because, you know, I upload a lot of stuff from Pennsylvania. So, uh, good times.